not people get jobs. Yeah, mm -hmm. It was not a mandate for the Republican that's Party. Right. It was a mandate Day for the government that's right. to get the job done. Mm -hmm. And I think the same independents that voted for Obama and the moderates mm -hmm. swung to the Republican mm -hmm. side as an alternative. Now, the, uh, the maverick in the whole equation, mm -hmm. of course, is the Tea Party. Mm -hmm. And I see the Tea Party as a third stream, pretty mm -hmm. much. Uh, tapping into the same energy that Obama tapped into mm -hmm. when he uh, got elected. Mm -hmm. And they're starting to see that, yeah, there's some anger out here that we can tap into. Mm -hmm. People are dissatisfied very, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. But you see, we have to make sure that we are not getting into demagoguery. You okay. know, because mm -hmm. you know, you always have demagogues mm -hmm. who can get people fired up and riled up and that type of thing. So now, uh, those people who are in uh, the House of Representatives, they're going to really have to cooperate with have to President work. Obama, yeah, work with him, to. I mean, because if they continue to be known as the party of no, no. Mm -hmm. then they're going to be kicked out mm -hmm. in two years. Cause, right. You know, you can mm -hmm. only get elected for two years yeah, in the House of Representatives. Yeah, yeah. And, and especially when you talk about eco the, economy the economy and jobs and et cetera, and mm -hmm. then I think one of the great issues now is the whether or not to extend uh, the uh, unemployment compens I mean, uh, uh, unemployment compensation, compensation yeah. for a large number of folks. Right. And, and, and you can't sit up there and, and, and sit on your hands in reference to mm -hmm. that when people in Kentucky and people in Ohio and all right. these people are suffering and, mm -hmm. and the only thing you can say is that uh, you're not going to cooperate. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I mean, to me, that seems to be a very, very odd kind of That's situation that they, find themselves, that, that they yeah. find themselves in. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, it's almost as bad as not having voted for the health care thing and then to come mm -hmm. up and talk about getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, I don't want to... Well, you know, the thing is, it seems as though we are uh, revisiting the mm -hmm. contract with America that Newt Gingrich That's started exactly it. Uh -huh. uh, when Bill Clinton was in power. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he took it to the point where he actually shut the government mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. And I think if they start those kind of antics again, the American people are not going to have any yeah. tolerance mm -hmm. with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But another part of the fact that, uh, of the economy was that we were in two, two wars, mm -hmm. a war in Iraq, mm -hmm. a war in mm -hmm. Afghanistan, mm -hmm. plus in a recession. Mm -hmm. So I think Obama is very wise to mm -hmm. say, well, let's bring the troops home mm -hmm. so we can save some money. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. costing us a lot of money to finance mm -hmm. two wars. Mm -hmm. I can't ever remember a time when America was engaged in two wars. Two major wars. Yeah, two major wars, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And even though we have support from NATO mm -hmm. and so forth, Still, I mean, it's drained a lot of money oh, yeah. out of our yeah, economy, yeah. plus mm -hmm. the loss of lives of young mm -hmm. uh, people. Mm -hmm. And then the soldiers who go there and sacrifice and they come back home, they're losing their homes. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a job. Some of them have mm -hmm. serious Sit emotional down problems, down. That's right, uh, getting divorces. Yeah. So the, the kind of toll mm -hmm. that it takes on the American family mm -hmm. and the homes, I mean, it's, uh, you ask the question, yeah. is mm -hmm. it all that worth mm -hmm. it, you know? Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, Dr. Elvey, we've got about a minute, sure. uh, 25 uh, seconds before we mm -hmm. uh, end this show for today. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you got any uh, uh, final statements that you'd like to leave us with uh, dealing with uh, the great debate in reference to uh, President Obama? Well, I think uh, President Obama is going to be obviously the man of the hour. He has a Nobel Peace Prize. He's the first African-American president of the United States. He has a vision that continues Dr. King's mm -hmm. vision. So I think the historians will have to say that he is certainly one of the dominant intellects mm -hmm. and one of the dominant politicians, mm -hmm. states persons mm -hmm. uh, of the 20th century, mm -hmm. 21st mm -hmm. century. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're getting ready uh, uh, soon to uh, celebrate Dr. King's uh, yes. birthday uh, mm -hmm. again, uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, holiday. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I guess you're ready for that too, uh, I would imagine. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. and everybody's ready for that. Everybody that you know, you've got mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Now yeah, we have to keep Dr. King's dream mm -hmm. alive because uh -huh. he is the alternative mm -hmm. to what is not happening in mm -hmm. America. Okay. He still represents that mm -hmm. shining light, that mm -hmm. vision where we need to go that people should be judged not by the color of the skin but by the content okay. of the character. I appreciate so that. character is the most critical thing for the American people today. <laughs> Very good. Rooted uh, in, in scripture as well as American values. Okay, then let me thank you and let mm -hmm. me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Con. Thank you and good morning.